Toffee first came to us as a foster at six weeks old. We were told he was eight weeks. It later transpired he was given away at six weeks. He was part of an unwanted litter. The first time I held Toffee in our house, he cuddled away and huddled inside my bathrobe. To me, it felt like he felt he was safe and he was also incredibly shy at first. When we picked him up, he didn't want to go in the carrier. Instead, he snuggled into my coat. In the car, he decided firstly to hide in my hair. This is something that Pom Pom used to love to do, especially before he passed away. When he wasn't feeling too well, he used to love snuggling up and hiding in mummy's hair. In this way, our first meeting with Toffee reminded me very much of Pom Pom traits and how Pom Pom used to love to snuggle and hide in mummy. Toffee then climbed from hiding in my hair and sat in my hood. Once he'd cozied himself down in my hood, he spent the rest of the car journey actually sitting inside the hood of my coat. He seemed to feel secure this way, nestled in the coat for the whole journey home. It was extremely cute, but it also reminded me of when Pom Pom did the same thing just a month before he passed away. After one of the vet visits when he was very fed up, he climbed into the hood of the exact same coat. Toffee started laying next to me five days after he arrived in our home. He seemed to trust me very, very quickly for head rubs, but just loved lying next to me as well as being independent and lying elsewhere. This again reminded me of a very special bunny who used to love lying right next to my legs so he could have back rubs and head rubs too. The way that Toffee comes up nudges both of my legs and stands up to see me in the mornings in my pyjamas. Again, this reminded me very much of Pom Pom, who used to come and do the same thing every morning, a nudge on both legs and stand up to get a good look at me. Toffee was reminding me of Tom Pom Pom in so many ways. Toffee also hides behind doors, believing he can climb the wall. You know this was something Pom Pom used to think he could do too. Adorably cute. Toffee started lying next to me a week after getting him too. Seemed very comfortable lying not too far away from me. On the floor, but fairly close. In this way he seemed to be incredibly trusting of me also, given by this point he was only actually six and a half, seven weeks old. Again this reminded me of Pom Pom who took to me straight away and who towards the end of his life used to love lying next to me for cuddles. Toffee and I took our first selfies. He then leaned in as though whispering something to me. This reminded me of so many of my selfies with Pom Pom, where he would lean in and whisper something to me. Upon taking our first selfie, I really, really felt like Toffee had whispered one word into my ear, and that was mummy. I really felt that Toffee was the right one for us, a baby that we could nurture and love in the same way we nurtured and loved Pom Pom as a house bunny. So we applied, paid and adopted teeny tiny Toffee. Did I also mention that the first day I sat to bond with Toffee in his room he came and put both paws on my left knee and stretched himself up to look at my face. This is exactly, exactly what Pom Pom did the first day I went to bond with him in our house too. Put both paws on my left knee and stretched up to look at my face.